I think for both groups, Muslim and Christians, to be able to freely say, like, this is what I believe. And someone's like, I don't believe that, but cool. Like, I want to hear more. That never happens. And so I feel like Peace Feast offer a very important venue for that stuff to come out. I didn't know the Muslims involved very well, since two of them are like really good friends now um, and continue to come to Peace Feast and we plan them together. We got some food, we invited a few friends over, and I actually got to learn a lot during that peace feast, uh, even though I used to think that, oh, I do have some understanding of uh, Christianity, but uh, at that peace feast, I got to know a little better, and I got to like convey what we believe as Muslims, and it was like a nice conversation to be with. Jeff is like a really amazing person and I have like spent a lot of time with him. Once he came to my place for tea, for he was just like, oh, I'll be there for like 30 minutes. And then we got to talking and we got to like talk about stuff, uh, different, uh, you know, cultural and religious uh, aspects. And then he was there for two hours. <laughs> it's always him inviting me in to have a meal, to make an event of it, to spend time together. And I feel like he really takes that personality trait into Peace Feast as well, where he's willing to cook for many people. He's wanting to share his food. and Learning about other people and other cultures is a way to get a fuller picture of who God is. And so when I am able to learn about Fahad and his background and his faith, it gives me a bigger picture of who God is. It's the month of Ramadan, and so there's like some additional stuff that we have going on. First, we're gonna break with our fast with like uh, water and dates, and then after that, we're gonna start talking about you know different uh, questions and uh, according to the guidelines. There was just the fear of the unknown, right? Like, what's actually gonna happen at Peace Feast? It's kind of like how to have this discussion that is informative and life-giving, but not coming to any kind of conflict. And I realized that fear was probably necessary because they've been so great so far. Awesome. So we're glad you're here. We're glad that we can celebrate Iftar together as well during Ramadan. I want to pass it over to a great friend, Fahad, who helped do all of this. Yeah. So big round of applause for uh, Fahad. Could you, um, I guess, should we start with a prayer or should, yeah, what, what do you think? We can start with the okay. Okay. Women Shari Gasikin is a waka. It's a beautiful day, and thank you for these beautiful friends to be around with. And thank you for the food. Pray that you'll bless this food for us. In your name we pray. Amen. And the rice cooker is our theme song. <laughs> <laughs> You can prepare as much as you want. You can try to get everything right. You can try to understand Islam to whatever degree and make sure you're being sensitive to your Muslim friends. But at the end of the day, you just have to try and invite people and have food and have a great conversation. May I sit with you? But in Korean, you say eat well. You say mashkin. So we can go through some of these questions before we move on to it's fine if the conversation steers away from the question, but then we can like come back to the yeah. question. So for me, I think like, um, the Tarabi prayer, mm -hmm. like well, that's really that good for me. I have this um, like mentor who taught me how to kind of yeah. pray. Like, God answers our prayer in like, uh, how to say in a way that we will never imagine. Mm. You don't just randomly strike a conversation about religion, right? It's like something that you try to stay away from, especially being in the 21st century. But like, yeah, when you're like sitting together with like like-minded people and people who do want to talk about it and get to learn more about each other, right? each other's religion and what their beliefs are. This is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, may your name be honored. May your kingdom come. May what you want to happen be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar Rahmanir Rahim. One of those questions that I have 
Jesus came and he was a prophet from, sent from God, right? God, really Father. So Does that make for sense? Us, for, for us, us yeah, it's, it's Jesus Jesus not, yeah. He, yeah, Jesus Don't is God. God. But I guess is that, was that written by Muhammad? Like, uh, the, like... No, so basically, it, it is direct word of Allah. It is not the words of Muhammad. Okay. If you want to share your faith, it's not about, like, drilling it down into someone, but it's about really taking the, the method of Jesus, who most of the time asks curiosity-inducing questions. And so I think I want to be like him <laughs> and kind of think about how can my questions spark curiosity uh, for myself and for the people I'm talking to. But before this, I haven't been into scriptures from Bible that much. Well, I never read the Quran, and today was the first experience reading a couple of the passages. It's very still basic, basic stuff, but having that background knowledge, I think we'll be able to, I'll be able, we're more comfortable to talk. Do you have anything else you want to say? Yeah, I'm just looking forward to having more peace, peace. <laughs>